I handed a set of beta reins to an old cowboy and uh, asked him what he thinks of these reins. And he looked at it, felt it, and he said, boy, that's how a set of reins should be. I started Working Horse Tack in 2009 and started just selling tack, harness, horse-drawn equipment, uh, things like that. And then in 2015, uh, I started putting biothane on. Okay. And uh, when I started with biothane, uh, it was suggested to me and I looked at it and I thought, eh, I don't know if I could sell that on the internet. And, uh, but I'm very glad that I did, of course. And is it all online sales? Yes. That, that, yes, uh, we do not have a store. Everything is, is online. Uh, and you mentioned Strap Warehouse. We are transitioning the biothane and the tools to a whole new website to separate Working Horse Tack from, uh, from the biothane just because it's two completely different customers. And we want to be able to cater to... We'll have a team dedicated to Strap Warehouse that can help uh, uh, help any buyers that have questions. Of course, you can always get a hold of me. Uh, right now, I answer the phone most of the time when somebody calls. <laughs> That's good to know. Yeah. Okay, so the farmhouse there is where my mom grew up. Okay. It's still owned by my uncle. Uh, this property came off of that farm, and everything around here came off of that farm. And my cousins and my uncle all live right around me. It's a great place to live. It was a great place to raise children. Beta is one of the most popular products that biothane coated webbing manufactures and sells. And primarily it goes into animal markets, specifically into dog collars for pets and hunting. Mm -hmm. What are the differences between a standard beta and a super heavy beta? I noticed that's what's basically for sale on your store. I get a lot of questions like this that people are confused about uh, what is beta is it biothane is it uh, what is the translucent what is gold what is all of these things is uh, people have asked me what's the difference between uh, beta and standard and it, it it can be confusing I have a uh, an ebook on the front page of the website that you can download and just give me your email. I'll give you my promise. I don't send a lot of emails out, uh, but I will send some just to keep people informed. But if you download that, it explains a lot of it. it but to okay. answer your question, your question was the difference between super heavy and, and standard. And standard beta, yeah, because I noticed on your site that's the first split. Yes. Like where people, could, when they were shopping for beta, because I think a lot of people hear the term beta and they know that it's a, it, that's what they want. But then, but then they're faced with the decision, what is standard versus super heavy? Both terms refer to the thickness oh, okay. of the coating. Right. Standard is 0.1 inches thick, right. and super heavy is 0.15 inches thick. And that varies a tiny bit. If you take a, a, a sure. micrometer and measure it, uh, it might not be exactly that, but right. that's the, it averages out to yeah. that. The thickness of the coating, actually the coating does not make any difference in the strength at all. Strength all comes from that polyester webbing at the core. Right, okay. So if someone wanted super heavy, they, it's basically a thicker beta coating. Yeah, yeah. People often buy, uh, the, the dog collar people, the pet people often buy the super heavy, beta super heavy. Beta because it looks and feels like leather, it's comfortable, it feels nice, it looks nice. The super heavy because it's just a little bit thicker, uh, gives you a little bit better uh, abrasion resistance. If people want a little bit softer hand feel, they go with the super heavy. Yeah. And then if they want, and then is there a cost difference between the two? Yeah, there's there's a little bit of difference because it it costs a little bit more because there's a little bit more coating. Sure. Uh, it's not a big difference. Okay. But there's a little bit of a difference. So who's this, Marlon? This is Dakota. Hi, Dakota. Oh, Rocky. oh, Rocky came in and stole your apple, Dakota. There you go. 
<laughs> Come here, Smokey. You want some too? Huh? You got Smokey over there. Yep. Now, tell me a little bit about these guys. Uh, these are... We just have horses. We don't go for a specific breed. We like quarter horses. We like Tennessee walkers. This guy's yeah. a walker. This guy's a part quarter horse. He's a Tennessee walker. He's a nice horse to ride. Very, very smooth. Very fast. Rocky here, we call him the politician. Rocky's the politician, why is that? He passes a lot of gas. <laughs> now I tell him he sounds just like them politicians when they're camping. Yeah. I'm a dog collar manufacturer or I'm making some tack. What would I be trying to look for as far as selection, width? Uh, the width is gonna depend on your application. A lot of people who are making tack, equine tack, will use 5 eighths. Okay. Uh, super heavy. Most, probably 80% of the of the beta that I sell is super heavy. Okay. I sell a lot of it. The five eighths is what people often use in horse tack. Uh, with dog collars and leads, it's going to depend on the size of the dog. Uh, we go down as far as three eighths. Uh, we have inch and a half wide, and and everything in between. And then there's a lot of choices of colors. Beta uh, Biothane has done a great job of creating different colors and adding new colors and so on. Uh, you can see on the website all the different colors that we stock. Okay. Uh, it's There's quite a few of them. And if there's a color that you want that we're not stocking, uh, just ask us. We can have it made uh, with, with a thousand foot minimum. What, mm -hmm. Why is beta so popular? Beta is popular because of how it feels and looks. It's comfortable to the touch and it looks like leather. Uh, I handed a set of beta reins to an old cowboy and uh, asked him what he thinks of these reins. And he looked at it, felt it, and he said, boy, that's how a set of reins should be. And I said, well, you realize that's beta, that's not leather. <laughs> and he had no yeah. idea. So uh, the, the feel and the look is what makes people take the beta over the gold. And it's yeah. if someone just wanted to get involved with making some dog collars and they wanted to order some beta, what are some of the options they can do to shop online at your site? Like what's a good entry way to, to get involved? We sell 25 foot rolls. That is the smallest that we will sell. Uh, and that is, that's an entry level right. size. People can, can buy that and try it. We sell some hardware. Uh, we do sell rivets. We don't have, yeah, we do have a few Jiffy rivets. Uh, and we also have tools that you can buy. Uh, if, you're, if you're just going to make one or two uh, dog collars, might not make sense to buy a $400 press. But if you're going to make them to sell, then you may want to consider the handyman. Sure. It's a great tool. Uh, we give a really good price break. Your best price break is when you leave the 25 footers and start buying 100 foot rolls. Oh, okay. And that, that is the sweet spot for the small manufacturer. And then if you're going to do a lot, we have another break at 500 feet. Okay. And another break at 2,500 feet. And we do, we sell a lot of uh, 100 footers. We sell a good number of 500 footers. I yeah. had a new customer just recently that their first order was 500 feet. You mentioned a, an info. The e book. Uh, yeah, what, yeah, a little you, bit more about that. Go to strapwarehouse.com and on the front page you scroll down towards the bottom and there will be a place where you can enter your email address and then download the ebook from right there and it explains a lot about uh, biothane, their different cuttings and, and so on and so forth. It has helped a lot of people to understand what they need to buy. Thanks for your time, Marlon. Thank you, Aaron. Sorry. Dallas. The code is this one here. Yeah, you're this is kind Dallas. of in the way. There's Dallas. Dallas. I'll, I'll Make room one. for Dallas. So there's how many all together? Four? Five. Five? There's five. Yeah, when we ride, we'll either put you on Dallas. Actually, we could put you on just about any one of them. A gentle one would be good. Yeah.
There's that politician. There's the politician. He, he, <laughs> wants you to, he wants your vote, Aaron. He wants your vote. <laughs>